Uh, so I guess it, yeah, I guess we're doing a we're just gonna make it like pro, uh, a uh, prowess um, like tribal. That was what we're really going with, right? Yes, but probably uh, yeah, a lot of token makers probably, and obviously we're gonna play some of the good prowess creatures. Uh, we're gonna probably like look up you know what prowess is out there. Like obviously monastery adventures like gonna go in immediately, uh, but. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of token makers like Assemble the Legion is probably good because I mean, where you start having like mass token makers is where prowess is really good. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh I don't want to make like a prowess powered joke because it feels too easy it's too easy it's too simple uh, <laughs> why did you start typing it well I, I i yeah i mean i was just like i don't know <laughs> so uh, she, she's also jess guy american prowess uh, sure yeah we'll we'll have we'll have no super creative name for this one Oh, uh, side note, have you watched the the has been hotel episodes? No, but I know it's it's that other show that you like. Uh, it's done by yeah, that guy, right? It's, 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 yeah, same for the for mm -hmm. busy pop. Yeah, and it's fantastic. And the songs are a bop and loser has been, been stuck in my head for the past like two days. That's pretty cool. I mean, I've heard good things about it, so yeah. Critics don't super like it, but like people who go to watch it like it. it's one of those things where the critics are like, well, this was an indie thing made by a, a YouTuber, so we can't like it because it doesn't fit into the conventional terms of how like it's a, the, the animation got made. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. And of course, because it deals with sensitive subject matter, Twitter is exploding and how mad they are about it because they can't find anything to do except get mad at stuff. Yeah, well, that's just Twitter. Yeah, I mean, look at what they're doing with Power World, and it sold five million copies. It's Twitter yeah. never shows like the true number. Like it's it's the same thing with like new Pokemon games and Marvel movies. Like that's become like the two new things to dog on for people for our generation because they a lot of the time they just don't have the time to play them. So like they'd rather just rag on them than like you know yeah like okay like it's maybe uncreative and people want them to go back to the overhead like you know how it used to look but like that's not what sells for younger generations and scarlet and violet sold 25 million copies which is right under gold and silver some of people's favorite games of all time like crystal gold and silver were like right it was like scarlet and violet was like right under that like it sold a lot of copies uh, but yeah, it's, it's just Twitter is, I, this is why I don't have Twitter anymore. Cause it, it, it is just toxic and it never shows like the truth. It's just people yeah. are, are farming likes, you know, it's so bad. But anyway, so we got mentor. Should we look up prowess cards? Prowess. Cause um, I don't, we... I don't think I want to play. I don't think the deck needs to play a ton of them. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's like a hundred percent necessary to play prowess things. I no, think but there are a few I think that we should run because um, there's some that like have prowess that that get that, that like pseudo give everything prowess. Cool. So I I think like a lesh to the infinite because it has prowess, but also lets you play off the top with with which is I think that's just a good fit for the deck. It's well, the yeah, same. that's yes, that that's what I mean. We need to look at the good prowess just cards in general because mm -hmm. abbot of carol keep like it's cool to get to exile the top card of your library and get to play that i mean mm -hmm. i guess i guess i'll put it in for now but it might get cut because like we are a blue deck like and we're gonna be playing creatures so we're gonna get to play like here before i forget we're gonna play the um the things that let you draw when you deal damage in blue uh what are they called? It's Coastal Piracy. Then there's the Bite In. That's us, us, us. And then Reconnaissance Mission. Uh, 
And then there's one that I'm forgetting. The the new one? Yeah, there's like a new one that I always forget. It, there's it's uh, uh it's the the boat thing. Um mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think Bedlam Reveler, that doesn't seem like a good fit, so let's read this one. When it enters the battlefield, you may put a target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on the top of your library. For three mana flying prowess, what do we think? Yay or nay? Uh, I, I like it in my hand, not on top of my deck. Yeah, um, if it was hand, it'd be a lot. We do have one that goes to hand, so should, oh, we, I... should we run the ship, Shipwreck Towser, or whatever it's called? Ship... Uh, yeah, we could. Yeah, we Bowser. could do that one. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Um. Uh. So let's keep going. We could also play uh, Shun Yu, the guy that uh, that's the <gasps> the one punch that's man. That's true. He does just have uh. He does just he have does prowess. Just have prowess. Yeah. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy also basically gives all your creatures prowess. Yes. Without saying it. Yes, that is so true. Couldn't we just technically play um, Cathar's Crusade as well? We're gonna make a lot um, of tokens, right? Oh, well, I, I guess we probably could. It's just a, it's. I guess yeah, it's not terrible. Well, you because I, I um, like aside from playing prowess creatures, like all. This um, another one I like is is Balmor Battle Mage Captain because mm -hmm. it uh, gives them plus one plus zero, but it gives them trample. Balmor Battle. Mage Captain, this one? Yeah. Cool. It's only a two drop flying. And oh, it gives... I remember this thing. Oh, the prowess prowess. But is this worth it? Or should we no. play it for the, like, the fun of having... It does have trample, though. That's yeah, a lot of true. damage. So you flip it, but the thing is, you gotta play it, and then you have to spend, like, three mana just to flip it, where instead of paying three mana in spells. <sighs> Which sure. we're all in a thought, by the way. Yeah, and Ka right. and Kaikar, because every time so Kaikar, you make... oh yes, we're with the because you you make those one ones which you could potentially use for mana to keep Obviously, going. Obviously, Arc Archmage. Uh, so hold on, Whirlwind of Thought, Archmage Emeritus, and then you're saying Kaikar. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, and there's also uh, uh, Leonin Light Scribe has the Magecraft prowess trigger. And we're probably still going to play a lot of um, instant sorceries. Light Scribe, you said? Hold on. Light Scribe. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, do we want, like, a storm kiln? Probably, right? I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh... That's just free. That's just free mana. Well, what about, what about uh, Viren, Voice of Duality? Because it's whenever you cast, if a casting or copying causes a trigger to believe a permit to trigger, prowess is oh, a triggered ability. Virant, like spelled V Y R E. V I know which it's one. It's V E uh, Y R A N. Jesus. Spell it again. Uh, it's V E Y R A N. Like this? V uh, V E Y R A N. There he is. Yes. Oh, he's ten bucks. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, ha have you read him? Oh, he's also from a only from a commander deck. Harmonic Prodigy. I oh, I love Harmonic Prodigy because that also would work with a lot because it's it, whenever a shaman or a wizard's ability triggers, it triggers an additional time. Do you think we're gonna have enough of that? Should we let's put it in and see if it's worth it later? Because at worst it is just a prowess creature. Mm -hmm. So uh Does this make prowess creatures? For a plus one? That's cool. And then exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them. You may be playing Okay. That's pretty good minus. Choose target creature and opponent controls whenever you attack this turn. Gyre Firely Negotiator deals that damage equal to the number of attacking creatures. You get an emblem whenever you cast a red instant or sorcery spell. Copy it twice. Okay. I oh, like no. Her. The, the Planeswalker Narset, the, uh, the America one, is actually probably pretty good. Because it lets you draw a card and discard a card. And because we could play things from graveyards, like, like spells, it actually lets us ditch potentially. Like, Wait, which a, one like, again? Sorry. 
Uh, it's Narset the Ancient Ways. The East one? So it either makes mana, which is really cool, mm -hmm. or your our minus is really cool, because we draw discard, it becomes a removal spell, and then when Narset attacks, we could cast that spell if it was like cool. mana cost was blown up. Yeah, makes sense. And if we and if we ultimate, that's pretty good. None of this looks that good. Now, whenever you cast an on-creature spell, target creature gains flying until end of turn. Was that worth? It is prowess. Whenever you cast an on-creature spell, target creature you control gains flying until end of turn. That's not terrible. Misfire Adept. Obviously, this is a deck that we're going to want Archmage Emeritus. Regardless. But that yeah. guy has prowess, so it does double. No, not what Emeritus. The... Archmage... Archtype of Imagination, I mean. Oh, yeah, just to get everything flying. Yes. And, uh... Senor Andrik. Captain No Blocks. Do you want I roll us, too? I don't no, see what uh... not. Well, I think it's, we could, but we might actually get our creatures big enough to not really care. He, he she does give Iroas uh, prowess. True. We got now. We we just have, do have to make sure we run enough spells to actually make it. Like, oh work. yeah, hundred percent. Yes. And we probably should run like a lot of like uh like one like one mana cycling draw card stuff like like uh, yes. one mana give creatures trample or give a creature trample draw card. <gasps> so we, Pearl so like Ancient that. Dirk, the classic. No. Do we? He's so, he's no, so, it's, he's, it's terrible. He's so bad. <laughs> uh, there's the shipwreck Dowser. There's Shion. Oh yeah, Storm Chaser Mage. What do we think about Storm Chaser? Two mana, flying haste prowess. I it's not too bad because like it get, it'll get really big really quickly. And it is flying. Oh, but can't we just run Sprite Dragon? Isn't that just better? Well, because yeah, I guess because Sprite, Sprite Dragon, Dragon just puts the counters on it. Yeah, so it'll get it'll get the prowess and the plus one counters. But I guess having creatures like that is not bad. So I'll but having the hasty them. boys is cool. Well, we we definitely are gonna play things that just give haste probably because we are in the color story. Storm Chaser. What's the best haste things we want to play? Didn't we find like a a red white haste thing that was like busted? Oh yeah, there was the new one. It was like, but it was actually like it was like five minutes. So I don't actually don't think I'd want to run so it. So you want to run the new one, the new fervor? What is it called? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, is that all the prowess stuff? Yep. Okay. Oops. Goddamn Funimation. And we got you got Whirlwind in the thought in there, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, can you find the other reconnaissance mission as well? Oh, uh, it's reconnaissance mission. Um, and then we're also looking for uh, the new fervor. It's reconnaissance mission. Um, Blind Nathasa, coastal piracy. Um, and Yog, the... this is Yog's new commander, by the way. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. We should probably play a lot of things that make tokens when we cat, or just like the best ones. What about like third path iconoclast, right? Uh, sorry, I'm looking for the. He's such a good one for being two mana because it's not oh, creature yeah. spells. Yeah. Uh, what about a shark typhoon? Uh, and I think it might be too late game. Like if we're trying to go aggro and, and kind of quick with it. So that like Tauran being... maybe. Four Ten, mana. Uh, it's the Indomitable. The Indomitable. Whenever creature you control deals kind of damage to play or draw a card with crew three with trample yes. and six six. And then now you need to find the new fervor, whatever it's called. The fervor that has a um, yeah, an anthem. What about Tauran? Or like, what do we think about that? Uh, 
I, I guess we could. I just that or I young know, pyromancer. Team. Like I don't know. I like young pyromancer. I just want to get filled up with too many creatures and not like having like spells. Because we fill up with too much utility and you don't have enough spells, it, it gets awkward if you draw like yes five creatures in one spell. You're like uh oh. Uh, enchantments. Yes, but we do need token makers. So like assemble the legion is good. Why can't I find this thing? Oh wait, there it is. It's uh, rising of the day. Oh, but it's legendary creatures get plus one. But still, only three mana to give things haste. It's still just better than fervor. It'll give the commander a plus one, this a plus one, that 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 a plus one. It's not bad. So yeah, I like the low costed token makers, and obviously the stuff like assemble the legion is good. Uh, do we want to play like yeah. any? Like what I don't know. I, I don't know if I like Assemble Legion in this kind of a deck. I'd rather really? have like stuff that synergizes with like the instant or sorcery stuff because a lot of our stuff triggers with instant or sorcery. So it's cool we could spend a turn to play it, but I think at that point, like we were already should be in our game plan. So then, already. should we play like what, like metallurgic summonings? Like I don't, I don't know. Um. Because no, again, I think it's just like a little high on the mana cost. We want to keep it kind of aggro. We want to keep like the. Like maybe they yeah, we do Talran just because it is a lower a little bit lower cost and easier to get out. And then a chrome as well. Nah. Kind of want to start loading in on like the instant or sorceries so we get our, like our, our good prowess triggers and kind of get to, to do our thing. Yes. Uh. You know, like I think this is a kind of a deck that actually having like our one mana draw cards might actually be kind of valuable because we just want to be able to cast little, little one drops that just recycle themselves as much as possible. I agree. Do we want any reducers or like? No, those those are late game, like more like mid range things. If we're like, so if we want to go aggro swingy boys, like you really want to take a turn off to play that to like maybe in a turn or two get the value out of it. We'll keep the the spells we play low cost that that we don't really even really care about the reduction. Uh, my concern is, do we have like enough like token makers or like? Yeah, trust me, we do. Like when we when I've built a lot of these decks, I end up even taking some of them out because I end up drawing too many of them and not enough value to go with it. And I'd rather just have the spells and get the ones I do have in play cooking, and like not draw like a third one and no spells because it gets it gets or or you draw like <laughs> yeah, this is the one part about having too many of them. Like you need like a good balance, and I think you you want. You don't want too many of them because one or right, two of them will carry you in this If you're deck. an entire instant and sorcery deck, like this is also kind of looking like this is also like an attacking deck mixed with wanting mm. to be an instant and sorcery deck because prowess that's just how prowess works. So like it's kinda it's kinda weird to like, you know, fit what you fit. But for like regular instant and sorcery decks, like having a good amount of token makers is fine, depending on how you're building the deck. If you're building like a fair deck, then playing a good amount of these is fine. I mean, I'm not a fan of like these two in particular, I prefer like playing these or like Murmuring Mystic. But yeah, I mean, but those, this those is a different are, deck. Uh, yeah, but I think those are like less aggro. -y. Those are more like you're playing defensive right. to keep the board back while you do your combo. Mm -hmm. So the, in a more of an aggressive deck, the lower cost I think will get you the better the better out of it. Okay, because it'll be a lot, a lot easier to make a lot of tokens earlier on and give a lot more prowess triggers than waiting till turn four, turn five to start making tokens. Do we want to play anything like Swarm Intelligence or like Double Vision or anything that copies instant sorceries, anything like that? We could just play like Bonus Round or like um, like a Past in Flames, like 
stuff that lets us I, replay I like our past, cantrips. I like I like past and flames. I def, I def feel like this is a mana geyser deck, right? I mean, yeah, you can totally do. You get to a bunch of like those little mana ramps spells, so it, like triggers a bunch of stuff. Then like, play stuff off of it. Mana geyser, past and flames. I don't know about like on unnatural or um underworld breach what do, we, what do we feel about underworld breach that's more of a combo deck i think it's like you're you're gonna try and play, play like do we want spells. like brass's bounty or like i don't think we need brass's oh, i think definitely just, like, definitely jessica's will yeah i like jessica's will um the what are the a... what are the discard ones that like you make treasures do we want that um do we want those? those? I, definitely, I definitely like a um a uh what was it um the not what's the, what's the, the draw draw two discard two on tap three lands? Oh, frantic search. Frantic yes. search. This is a Jataxian probe deck. You yeah, think? Jataxian. Yeah, I like Jataxian probe. I like faithless looting because I, like I like impulse. I like impulse. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, can. Consider is kind of cool too because it lets you put a card into your graveyard. Um, like expedite just one mana haste draw a card seems cool. Yeah, we need to look up like a Zada deck. You know what I'm saying? Because like Zada plays a lot of like good like targeted stuff that also does things. You know, what what was the it, other one you said? A uh, consider? Yes. Consider. Yeah. Ponder preordain. Mm. Uh, ponder. You can do like an. And even opt. Yes. Ponder. I don't know about brainstorm because no, brainstorm unless we doesn't, play let fetch us, lands. doesn't let us get away. I still think a, a source of plowshare and, and paths might still be good. Preordain. You also said opt. Path. We could also to be like our in our towards our end game plan. If we play extra combats, the prowess stays for that turn, and we untap them. And so, and, like, and um, uh, what are the like instant sorcery spells that we can play with that? Uh, Relentless Assault is the four drop one, which is really cool because if you play Relentless Assault, and if that's the only card you play that turn, you attack with our Narsa, you could exile it and cast it from your graveyard. Wait, wait. shouldn't this be a Paragon Draco Sleeve Flicker deck? Because that's that's an infinite combo that infinitely casts. Uh, and we already have the Shipwreck Towser that we're playing, right? Oh, yeah, we, we could do that as like another, uh, yeah, as a like, that's a an infinite combo that that buffs everything infinitely, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Paragon, Drake, and Ghostly Flicker. Is there any? Because there's a lot of good red cantrips that they've printed. We need to look them up. Uh, Warlord's wait, 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 Fury. Wait, wait, oh. wait, hold on. Uh, is there? Uh, are we gonna end up playing like a lot of targeting? Because. I don't want to keep mentioning creatures, but like maybe we should cut some down. Cause is this like a deck that would want to do like Zada or like the old feather? Like well, no, because I think that make we're not going to so run target everything. Because I don't think we're going to run exclusively the targeting thing. Like they run but those. But the red ones it's... are really good though, and they draw. Yeah, like, but we have we have blue. Right, so but we what I'm saying is like a lot of them are like haste or like they can give flying or like. So, some of the new ones are really good. Like, I, I know that there's one that gives you, like, the initiative for, like... Wait, wait. Look, look, Warlord's uh, Warlord's Fury for one mana. I, like, I really like that one. Oh, yeah, we need extra combat stuff. So, Creature Control get First Strike? Should we play the first... Storm card? Isn't there, like, a Storm card for every card that you've drawn? Or, like, there's, like, a Storm card for every card you've played? Your creatures get plus one, plus oh, right? Um, is, is it? Um, there's also there's two that I'm thinking of. There's one that your creatures get a bonus if equal to the number of cards you've drawn this turn, and then there's one that has storm and your creatures get plus one plus zero. Oh. And I think both of those would be good in here.
empty the warns. That's kind of funny. Uh, Remember with Storm, though, you don't get... Uh, it's a Haze of Rage. It has buyback. Yes, it does. That's cool. I like that one, especially for only two mana and with buyback. Yes. Yeah, that's the Storm one. But then there's another one that... Uh, Equal to the number of cards you've drawn that turn, they get like a bonus. I think it also gives them haste too, which is why I'm trying to figure out what it does. Uh, it's a red spell. Uh, people played in Zada because it's insane in Zada. Uh, I can't. I can't think of what it is. Wait. So what's it do? So it's a it's a red spell that equal to the number of cards you've drawn that turn. It gives your creatures a buff when you cast it. And does it have storm or it's just a? It's it just doesn't have storm. It. It's just what its effect is. Equal to the number of cards drawn. Uh, fist of fist of flame. Fist of flame. That sounds right. So yeah, it's plus one plus zero. Does it also draw, right? And it draws a card. Yes, yeah, see? I see. Plus one plus zero for each card. And trample! Trample! That's cool. Plus one plus oh and trample and a two mana draw. Yeah, that seems good. See, I knew there's like some cracked red ones. Like I remember there's one that like you enter the dungeon or something. Uh that they printed. There's like there's a lot of red that draw. Also uh world at world at war. Yeah, we need uh, extra combats. Yeah, so World at War. What are the good ones? We we could play them all, right? Because we, we're Boros. I'm yes. Just, yeah, I'm looking we love for, our uh... rebound. Yo, is this a deck that wants to play like Fury and just exile two red cards? Like Fury of, uh, what is it called? Of Akum or whatever it's called? Uh, sorry, I'm looking up like five things this at one time. Is it Fury of a Coom? Fury of the Horde? Does that sound stupid? I feel like this is not that bad. <laughs> like, because I, I know the mana cost, but like a free extra combat, and we're probably going to play a lot of red. I, I'm going to throw it in there for now. It might get cut, but for now it seems kind of good. Any free spells in this deck like Jataxian Probe is going to go a long way. Like frantic search, is this like a turnabout? Like, do we want like turnabout or like? We can, this we can do this isn't about. really a me deck, so like I'm just going off of stuff that I've played against, you know. Uh, I don't, I don't really know. Do we want to play a bonus round? I don't. I don't think we need it. Yeah, because it because it doesn't work with prowess anyway. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't work with prowess. Do we want, like, a Brass's Bounty, or, like, uh, I don't know. I don't think we need it. Uh, wave, wave of, Waves of Aggression is another extra combat one you can do. Yes, I know this one. That's a cool one. Yeah, you know, I always forget that, that was the one, because I know there's, they're mostly all red, and that's, like, the red, red white one. Mm hmm This feels like a Fierce Guardianship deck. Another another free spell. Yes, fierce guardian ship. Uh, we probably should have some other like draw draw effects in like our spells too. Like I I don't like we could we could make gush work, but I'm never the biggest fan of gush. It's very like committal, you know. Oh, you want to run expressive iteration? Yes. Oh, uh, see, truths is kind of probably cool too because if we cast it from our great uh, or cast the copy of it we get to we get to draw three from it i see what you're saying it's also just you want to run a good card 
do you want to run like a slip through space that gives something unblockable and draw a card or you think it just kind of it's only one thing so it's kind of whatever <sighs> no so it's not that's not terrible because it also draws a card because like that, that's what i'm prowess. saying like a lot of the draws like opt or like you know like like things like consider are just worse than like giving something unblockable you know so yeah. i like slip through space and then uh distortion strike is the one that has a uh, rebound oh do we want zada or well, what's the one that makes red every time you cast something do we want her uh bergy bergy is this feeling like a Bergy deck or is it uh, too I mean, blue? That feels, that feels like we're going more towards like a combo stormy deck. Well, not like combo stormy. It's just we, uh, the problem that I feel like I'm going to have with this deck is we need to play a creature and then like dump our entire hand to like try and kill everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. So like we want as much mana makers when we're doing the job as we can, you know? But so a, lot, like, a lot of the cards like recycle themselves. So like they have a draw effect. So like you true. play it. You get the effect and draw a card. It's true. It's true. It's entirely true. All right. And that's uh, why. I, um, and I mean, we do have an, an infinite worst okay. comes to worst, so. Isn't there like some red ones that give haste and like. Uh, obviously, Storm Kill Artist is the best card in the deck. Mm hmm. Do we just want the four mana extra combat spell? Like the... Oh, I got it. Relent, this is Assault. Do we just want, like, Leap? Like, giving something flying, or, like... I want, I'm looking for stuff that, like, has, like, drawing on top. Uh... Yeah, a lot of them do. Like, Leap does. Right? Does a mm -hmm. Leap draw? Because we're playing a lot of cards, we could probably play like a uh, a tre yeah I, I like leap, like a treasure cruise. That's a great idea. Because I don't and, think and we care dig? so much about getting like treasure all those. And dig? Yeah, because I think a lot of those stuff we're not going to care about getting them back. Agreed. One nexus like, of fate. <laughs> nexus of fate for the. I I still feel like one extra combat and that's probably the most fair one, or, or l like the best one to play you know but the thing is extra turns is not as good in this deck you know no because you want them to keep their power toughness that's why like the extra con the extra combat right any other like mana makers that we're missing that we want to play like Should still probably run a cyclonic rift as like a, an emergency oh shit oh crimson wisps is the makes a cre a card a creature red and gives it haste and draw a card yes i like that one there's a there's like a decent amount of red draw now red draw a lot of the, a lot of the red good red value cards are also like exile the top two two cards and like should we play, we should play Valica right yeah it's, it's just a land. land and Seagate for sure mm. and also probably Slindy Visions yes the the trio and you also runs it's the Healy that makes the one ones. Because it also makes a uh, makes a creature a copy of something. Hold on. Sublime artificer. It makes the one one uh, servo artifacts, and then it has like its other effects. Yes, I do like her. Which one did you see? Sublime artificer. Yes, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Probably should get some mana rocks in there too. Yes, we definitely want a soul ring. 
We could probably rock out as many two drops as possible. Is this a Lotus Petal deck? Does that sound stupid? Yeah, I don't think we need Lotus Petal. It's expensive to play that. You think? Yeah. And what we, we have a lot of one drops and a lot of random colors. And a lot mean? of like what do you mean ex things. expensive to play it? It's like, five, it's like five mana to play it. No, Lotus Petal. Oh, oh, Lotus Petal. Sorry, I thought you said Guild of Lotus. No, Lotus Petal. This uh, one. actually, yeah, that's probably not not the worst idea. Because Prowess works with non creature spells, so yeah. And also for we're running the um, did we want to? So we're running a uh, Pass in Flames or whatever. Uh, did I put it in here? Hello. It, it's a sorcery. Oh, I'm an instance. Uh, right there. Okay. And it's pretty. Uh, I think Lotus Petal is good with cards like that, but. Okay, yeah, and probably all the signets and uh, all yes. of the talisman, all and all the talismans. So arcane signet first, though. Mm -hmm. Do we? I say we just don't play thought vessel. You think? Right? Do we really care about no maximum hand size, or are we just trying to kill them? I think it's just because it's two mana, uh, two mana artifact, and it's a cheap artifact to play, so we could potentially chain into Cause it. Because I, I prefer thought vessel over. Um, like, uh, what do you call it? Decanter? Because the mana cost? Yeah. We want this to be as low cost and inefficient. Make sure that we're not missing any free cards that we could be playing. I mean, there, there are other ones we could be like, playing. Like, I but... mean, there's like Force of Will, but like this, I mean, do we really want to be those guys? Like, Yeah, no, this is, out, or like like the Deflecting Swat or stuff like that. It's just like, eh. We could do Deflecting Swat. That is just a free one. Hmm. Uh, funny enough, if we have like something like this, wait, is the can deflecting swat target our own stuff? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I think he yeah, had just changed the target of a spell to another target, isn't it? Uh, you each use new targets for spell or ability. Oh, it's also ability. That's kind of cool. Mm. Uh, uh. There's also like force negation. There's packed in it, like packed negation. But I think we got all like the drawing stuff. Like it's really just frantic search and like. Um, you want to know how we end the game? How nano nano gene conversion. Spell it nano gene as conversion. one word. What is this? Oh no! Except it isn't legendary. Oh, let's have no! Let's oh. turn every one of our tokens into a prowess narset that gives all your other creatures prowess. This, we play one spell. This is definitely a solve the equation deck. All right. While you also fi finish mana rocks, I'm gonna hit the bathroom. Okay. So we got a soli ringy, arcane signet. We need our signets. We need our. You, you, and uh, and you. You, you, and you. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, Okay, that should be good. Uh... Alright, I'm back. Okay, so I got the signets and the talismans. I do think Lotus Petal is cool in here. Uh... Maybe Felwar Stone too, just as a, another two, two drop. Obviously, there's other combos we can play in here. Like, there's Brain Freeze combos because we're in the colors for it, but we don't need to be those people. Uh... Felwar Stone, sure. That's a great card. Okay. Is there any cute artifacts that we're missing? Uh, um. Okay. Uh, actually, that's... That's actually not terrible. It's called uh, Glamdring. 
It's from Lord of the Rings. Glam ring, you said? It's glam, glammed. It's a, with a, yeah, there it is. Yep, just what I was looking for. This one? Yeah. Quip creature is first strike and plus one plus oh for each instant sorcery in your graveyard. Whenever a quip creature deals combat damage to a player, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand with mana value less than or equal to the dead. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's all right. Uh, it's still just kind of okay. Uh... Okay. So, anything else you can think of? Is there any other free shit we want to play? You know who would be kind of good in this deck? Uh, Crick. Like, you know, the... Because obviously this could be like a Crick Bergy deck and we cut down on some of these creatures and play them, but my problem with Crick is knowing how I flip coins, I'm never going to get mm -hmm. what I want. But, but remember, you're still casting the spell even if he bounces it. So it's still going to trigger the prowess. So even if like you cast a ponder and it gets bounced three times and you cast it at three times, that's still three prowess triggers. So maybe Crick is worth it. Like the two mana goblin. Uh, and you're still getting the cast trigger. It's true. Like, yes, you can you can get fucked from not being able to cast things, but then like, if you get to copy, like it's it's nonsense. Is it Crick, or it's Kark? Sorry, Kark. Uh, email you know, Kark. No, Crick is um the the black guy, isn't it? Like yes. Crick is. I don't know how to spell Kark to... though. I think it's just K R A K, or is it K A R K? Something like that. Or K A R K. I Kark. spell thumb. Kark. Really, Kark's thumb doesn't come out. Oh, it's Kr it's K R A R K. It's Kark's. That's what it was. Which one? Oh, is uh, he is Kark the Thumbless, right? Right, because he doesn't have his thumb. I think he's kind of busted. Also, if you have him in Stormkiln, also this is a, a Renius Vile duplication deck, right? Uh, you could, you totally could, yeah. Because. Like, copying our commander is insane, and there's so many good cards we can copy as well. Cool. Alright, so we should get into the lands. Alright, you know, Tom, what we should do is just scrap this whole idea and make it tribal monks. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. You're a man <laughs> of culture. Yeah. Didn't they make a monk commander recently, right? Uh, it was yeah, like, it was sort like, of. It was like monks, it, knights, and something. It it wasn't. A, it was like advisors too. It was. I think it was in the same colors or. Um. Yeah, the Archmandrite. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. at the beginning of your upkeep. You gain X life, where X is the number of cards in your hand minus four. And whenever you gain life, each advisor, artificer, and or monk you control. Gains vigilance and gets plus X plus zero in the turn where X is the amount of life you gained. Tap three and tap advisors, artificers, or their monks. You control, draw a card. Cool. All right. Uh, let me count how many things make tokens. So we got... Actually, let's finish our lands before the and start cutting cards. So we can look at the colors. Uh, 58, not surprised, 18, and 41. So... Have heavy blue, red, and then uh, like almost a yeah. splash of white. Yeah, Wait, that is seems there, right. Is there anything else we want? Do we want a Teferi's protection? Do we want to play any counter spells like a Swan Song or like? Um, I probably should run some counter magic because I only have this right now. So do we want like a Mana Drain? Uh, or like, like a Arcane Denial Mana Drain? Arcane Denial. Probably like a. This is like a Swan Song deck, right? Probably, yeah. You want to just keep the cost low and make sure you win the battles. Uh, Dovin's Veto, maybe, because, again, you just want to stop whatever's happening. Uh, 
Did I get her cleaned it out? I did. Do we want a mana drain or no? I feel like mana drain is good, right? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be our only, like, double blued counter. Uh... Okay. Seems fine. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so Command Tower, Reliquary Tower. <laughs> What's the name of the Bless Double you. Strike land? Thank you. Uh, uh, Slayer Stronghold? No, it's Vigilance and Haste. Um, That's not bad either. Uh, isn't it? What is it called? I know exactly which one you're talking about, too. Um, they play both of them in Titan. Yeah, because they're, they're both pretty good. Yes, they are. I always forget the name of the Double Strike one. I always think it's Slayer Stronghold. Yeah, that was the, one, the first one that came to my mind, too. Uh-huh. Uh, it's Sun Home Fortress of the Legion. There it is. Thank you. Okay. And I don't think there's really any other cute lands in these colors. We should probably just make sure our mana's good. I don't... Because, like, there's, like, some, like, castles and stuff like that, but I don't... The only one that might be good is, like, a token maker or something, but I don't think we really need it. No. I just want to have good lands. So we definitely want, we want lands tower. to... And drug tap like this is almost uh like a strategy that like I think the fast lands might even be good, but uh I I hate the the fast lands. No, I got, I think I got we tower. have more than enough land, especially in three color. We have more than enough lands to enter yes. on tap. Yes. Yeah, so so we hit, get our command tower. Yes. I got our command tower. Okay. It's then a, um uh we could do Shivan Reef. Yes, definitely all the painty boys. Battlefield forged. Battlefield forged, not forged. What are words, Derek? It's okay. And uh, add a car wastes. Just still six dollars. Not surprised. Did you see she Oldred's price? I posted yeah, it like, in the chat earlier. It's a hundred dollars. Was she like? Is she really? Standard all star so, and also good so commander. So here, here's the funny thing, right? I was looking at my villa stack, right? This is more expensive than Zhao Dun. The <laughs> the portal three card that Jake sold me. She's more expensive than Zhao Dun. Have you read what she does? Yes, I know. <laughs> I play it in there. <laughs> she cracked. Oh, Derek, also everybody's not gonna be happy because I picked up a one ring for Villas, baby. Let's go. It's gonna yeah. be so good. I was literally talking about that <laughs> at work with Marty about because he said that his, his buddy bought one. And he's oh, like, that card's stupid. I'm like, is. yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. You can play it in every deck. It's just we're not putting it in decks because it's like in that range where like it's just a little bit too much. Like this deck would definitely play it. Because the protection from all players, oh no, target. It's target player, right? No, uh, it's just you gain protect you gain protection. No, but it's for I think it's I think it targets. Hold on, because no, I think it's just I think it says you gain protection if you cast it from target player. I think. Hold on, let me check. No, because when you play it on arena, you don't ever have to target anybody because it's a one v one. You still have, would still have to target. You gain protection yeah, for, from everything. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because yeah, even yeah, because the way arena's program, you still have to choose a target. Yeah, the one ring would be good in this, but it's like sixty dollars right now. Mm. And anyway, like, to land, let's finish up our lands. Yes, so we got the paintings. We have a training center. Yes, we need that training center. S spectator seating. Spectator seating. And sea of clouds. Sea of clarity. Uh, Hollowed Fountain, Steam Vents, Sacred Foundry. Pleasant Kenobi made a video about that guy that posted the... Speaking of the Shocklands, did you see the guy that ripped or flipped the serialized Godless Shrine and people were fucking ripping that guy a new fucking asshole? Like, because it's like a... It was... It's like a $2,000 card, but it's ripped, so now it's like 500 bucks. 
It's, it's, that's why I don't play dumbest, Ripper. Flip it or rip it. It's one of the stupidest things people fucking do. Fucking game in the universe. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten even worse since, like, the price of cards have gone up. Why would you want to do it, like, with an expensive set like that? Uh, which one are we missing? It's uh, Steam Vents. Yeah. Right? Steam Vents, yeah. Yeah, Hall Found, Steam Vents, Sacred Foundry. And then we need our Innistradis. Uh, so, um, 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 no, we got those. No, we got the Battle Bond. No, no, we didn't. Uh, Storm, Ca Storm Carved Coast. Mm -hmm. And sunda uh, sundown pass. And a deserted beach. Wait, were those all the new ones? Mm -hmm. They never had Jeskai. Wow, that's so oh no, no, Sea Clouds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I was thinking of the Battle Bond Lands. Yeah. Um. We could do a reflecting pool because we're probably going to have a lot of like. Yep. This is almost like a. Wait, let's count the creature types really quick. Our commander's a human monk. Human, human, human. Monk, human. So that's one, two, three, f four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you're thinking about a um uh? No, I think path is just slow. I'd rather just play like a mana confluence. Yeah. Word, let's do the filters. We didn't do the filters. Yeah, I was getting there. Yeah, yep. Ca cascade uh, bluffs. Volcanic Island. <laughs> yeah, you wish, buddy. <laughs> rugged, Honestly, rugged there, Perry. it's f like, I, I wouldn't say no. It's just we, we're not used to putting, because you know that we both agree that running dual lands doesn't change your deck at all. It is a mini school difference if you run dual lands versus like a Steam Vents. They're, they're like basically the exact same card. Now, mm. a guy's cradle, on the other hand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Which, like, she holds you and it's becoming, like, one of those cards. And she's not even a year old. What the fuck, man? Uh, uh, but, all right. So, rugged, rugged, rugged Prairie. Yes. And then Sky Cloud Expanse. And honestly, I'd probably run all three pathways because they're wait, just better. No, it's not Sky Cloud. What? Oh, wait, no, Rowan. Uh,. Uh, You're lying to me, kid. Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a uh, uh, mystic gate. There we go. I'm like, that sounds wrong. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard of that land in my life. Sorry, that's the signet land. All right. Um, um, also, also, oh, what was that? What was the other thing I was thinking of? Um, oh, we could probably run all the pathways because, like, we're not really fetching any basics out of our decks, so they're nope. just do side basics. Sure. So you probably just type in pathway and they'll actually ne never mind. There might be a lot of pathway cards. You... No, we're good. Uh, okay. So, so it's, it's uh clear water. Uh, is it clear water? No, that's it's uh this one irrigated. And then it's what's on the and back? last one. What is this? Oh, so it's it's that one. And then, that and then the last one, yeah. Because at the bottom it shows you the color. Yeah, that, those so three. Is that correct? We're yeah. not we're not illegally playing. No, it would yell. I think it would yell at us. Think of how many MDFC things we're gonna need for this deck. Uh do we want any cycle lands? Like an Odawara. Can... I kinda like Odawara. Yeah. Or Egonjo, because we're an attacking deck. Mm -hmm. We could play them both, because again, like we're not fetching. We're not playing any run an stuff. We can also run an Exotic Orchard in a three-card deck. It's oh, not terrible. 100%. I forgot about that. I think that's. I think this set has some of the best, like, untapped for three colors. Like, with a mm -hmm. lot... we Because we have, like, everything, I think. I 
And we have three MDFCs. How many lands are we up to? Let me. Uh, we're up to 26. So we're at 30 right now with the three MDFCs we have. Yeah, so let's add some basics. So... What do you like? Three, two, and one, or three, two, 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 island, or three, three, one. Three, two, one is probably good. We might not even honestly need a planes, but it's fine. Just in case we get blood moon, or or, what... or we get path by our opponent, and we need a planes. Yeah. It's good to always at least play one of all your colors, even if you're playing a low amount. Also, our lands can get blown up, even though we only have, like, three relevant lands, which is, like, this one and the other one. Like, we're not really playing good lands. Like, we're not a guy's cradle deck, you know? Uh, oh, Mystic... Actually, I was going to say Mystic Sanctuary, but that might be too hard to pull off. I don't think no, we have enough basics. Yeah. No, we or, don't. like, islands, yeah. No, we have literally one, as of right now. We have two, actually. It's uh, the Steam Vents and the Hollowed Fountain, that's it. And then three. Yeah, that's yeah so we can put... And then, and then two mountains and one yeah. plains. Then so that's, that should that's thirty five. Uh, I'm going up up on an island. Thirty six might get cut. Honestly, it might. This might be a thirty five deck. I'm going to be perfectly honest. So we are very far over. Yeah. Are we thinking this one maybe? Yeah, we cut that. That's just like a because we're like we're gonna play from free to like shit that almost costs nothing in general. This thing, maybe, the gifts flying prowess. I don't know. Yeah. Unless you still like this. Eh, nah. We have spells that kind of do it. Uh, any of the other creatures? Because creatures are definitely the first things I want to look at. Uh, I like Abbott because I like being able to... Uh, just about, I like being able to get the car off the top if we need it. A Harmonic Prodigy is only works with Shamans and Wizards. Yeah, we so, could definitely we could definitely cut him. Actually, I like Iroas. Maybe Kark can cut. <sighs> no, I think Kark's no. Be that's good really here. good because we're not playing enough. We're not playing a lot of copies, you know. So like that's our only good one. And at worst comes to worst, he has prowess, you know. Anything else? I think. Uh... think this is fine i kind of agree there are some cards that uh oh this can give it to anything that's so yep good. that yep that's anything that's so good uh how many token makers do we have because cathars i still feel like cathars is not bad uh it just depends on the number of token makers honestly uh we have one we have two, we have three, we have four, five. No, I don't think it's enough. Right? Do, yeah, we, no. do you think we need this? No. No. What about any of this? Definitely keep this and that. Yeah. I think those maybe. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to need these, but they still seem kind of good. And I think we want we do have, one. Mass. We do have four. We do have four of those effects. So I mean, when, I wouldn't be mind going down one of them. Uh, so because we have two in artifacts, two in enchantments. Uh, what's you? So the question is, what's the worst one? Right? Is it this? I think because so. this is also a, a like a vehicle. And Thassa's Oracle also can, like, um, it can make does other effects. Yes, it can make someone attack, which is relevant. And, and then, then this one cycles. That one can cycle worse. So, yeah, I think Coastal Piracy is the worst. Because uh, most of our cards are going to cantrip anyway. So, uh, maybe Deflecting Swat, you think? Or you still like it? I mean, it's nice protection, but that's what I guess what counter spells are for. Yeah. Anything else? No, nah, I like all this stuff. You still like turnabout? Yeah, because it's basically it could be just like a free turn. It, 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 it is just spells. a free spell. 
Uh, do you still like all this? Oh, there's another token make. Two more token makers. Yes. Because one's on a plus and one is yeah, on but cast. Yeah, still, too. I just don't think we need Cathar's Crusade. I'm just saying that we... Yep. I, I think those kids stay. Mm-hmm. Uh, any of this? What are we thinking? Um... Oh... Maybe we, I guess we could cut out like one of the extra combats, but like they, they seem really good. Yes. Oh, do we want to cut the. Where is it? Did I cut it myself? This one? Yeah, I think that's the one that could go. It's It's cute, but. Anything else? This is going to be insane. Yeah, I like all this other That's stuff. why you play Solve the Equation, so you can find one of those. Or like this, or, you know. We kind of need Solve the Equation, because there's some card. Mm -hmm. or, or like finding it a Chrome as well, you know? Which is also going to be insane. Yeah. Also, the... Let's see what we're at. Uh, no. fifteen cards uh, left. I hate it, and I want to. I like everything. Yeah, it's tough. Any of the mana rocks you think, like Thought Vessel, or like the Lotus Petal? Maybe kinda... it is Lotus Petal. It is a one-time use, though, so it's not like con consistent mana. Yeah, I do. I do like it, though. It's just I guess we are trying to make it like uh, have like some things that draws cards, you know. What about this guy? I like the flying though, and he's two mana. What does this one do again? Whenever you cast or copy an instant sorcery spell, creature you control get plus one. Yeah, that's like double prowess. We need that. Mm -hmm. So she... one spell, yeah, gives like plus two, yeah, plus yeah. two to everything and. Anything else? I really don't want to lower on the creatures that we do have. I think we need to still keep these need to stay. Okay. I like all these. We do have 21 uh, instants and we still have sorceries too. So maybe we cut out a, some of the one drop draw stuff. The worst one I guess is consider. Actually, I like that one more because I like it puts something in the Wait, graveyard. Should we play Serum Vision over like? No, I actually like Consider because it puts a card into your graveyard. Remember, we could cast so cards from our graveyard. This one. So Op's probably the worst because it's only like cycling one card. And like I said, I like the other draw effects because they at least like deal do stuff on the board. Mm -hmm. Impulse digs pretty deep, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Leap is good. Ghostly flickers for the infinite, so it has to stay. Frantic mm. search is insane; it's just free. Uh, they also have a lot of sorceries too. I think this one can go as well. No, that's so good, man. Uh, it's Remember? just it's just making mana, really. Or the two the seconds removal, and it lets us put a card in our discard that we could cast without having to pay its mana cost potentially for the turn. Because remember, when we attack, we get to get a card from our um from a card from a, a graveyard. Whenever you discard a non land card, this way Narset deals. So we can literally discard like almost anything, burn for the damage swing and then play the card it's kind of like why faithless looting is kind of cool in this deck too unless you really really don't like her yeah i'm not i'm not really feeling that like effect 
I think we have other ways to, like, get attacking through. Uh... I like the one that makes the prowess tokens, and this is just a token maker, so... What else gets cut here? Um, maybe ponder, because again, like, if... It either shuffles it away, or if it, we leave it on top, like... It's kind of like Brainstorm, where, like, unless we could shuffle, I guess, shuffle away. I guess, but it does shuffle itself away, I don't know. Yeah, no, ponder's way better than Brainstorm. In Commander, at least. G, G Probe is free. This sucks. Um, how, how much do you think we're going to actually storm off with heart, uh, Haze of Rage? Or do you think it's just good because we potentially could buy it so, back? So, yeah, I think for, like, a two-mana spell, even if we've cast three spells that turn, that's crazy. Like, I, I, which is pretty easy because we've made our spells pretty low cost. Do we think Mana Geyser is even going to be good in here? No, we get cut. Guy yeah, Mana Geyser. Because we don't have, like, a ton of red. I mean, we're, I guess red is a, a bigger color, but it's not like we super need it. Like, the thing is, what are we going to play with it? We're going to play, like, a like our highest curve out is, like, five. So we could also just play the spell that we would have played for Mana Geyser anyway. Mm -hmm. right. I guess we would have some leftover red, which would be cool, but, like, we're pretty efficient with our mana. Uh, I said before we can cut a land as well. This is definitely, like, a 35 land deck. All right. Uh, still going to cut 10 cards. Jesus Christ. I'm just thinking, like, let me look at the curve. I think five is our high, or seven is our highest with our one, but that's just the one spell. Like, we are really low to the ground, mana wise. Because I think our seven drop is, uh, the, the is Seagate. I'm thinking we cut more mana rocks because we don't need this many. Is it insane to just cut all the signets? Uh, we could cut like maybe two of them, maybe the bo the, bo the ones that have. Uh, or just cut thought thought vessel and two signets. Um, I would I'd say maybe at least borrow borrow signet because it's the the color we yeah, use the least. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously this one, and then and maybe Azurius, the talisman. Azurius would be the, or you just want to do this one. Yeah, because at least because we use more. That makes sense. Because thing I think white and red are the yeah, and I think that's fine. It's, it's still nice to have one or two just for the maybe little acceleration. Just, maybe we gotta cut the abbot. Uh, yeah, because he, you know, he sucks turn one or turn two. He's only good can, later. We can end up hitting like a four or five drop and be like, uh, and yeah, lose it. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Tom. So I, I know we're it's a little sidetracked here, but um, I saw we we did get that creature that when it's like whenever you sacrifice an artifact, like a player gets two poison counters. Mm -hmm. So you're saying is that's basically a, a brand new toy for um, Prosper that oh. takes the place of uh, Marionette Master. That's so stupid. Because it basically does the same thing. You play it, you sack a bunch of stuff, and mm -hmm. instead of burning for damage, you're like, up oh, here's in fact for you. Stupid. Hate it. Like I don't want to cut any of the rest of these creatures. No, I think I the think only we have to one, our the only ones that could get cut are these two. But I think we do just need low cost big dudes like these three, right? Because this mm -hmm. gives double strike. That's part of an infinite and also has prowess. We need the rest of our token makers because we've like we need to make sure that like we're making a board, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're playing the most efficient ones. Then we have the three best ways to get through in the colors, which is this, this, and this, and a chromos, right? Uh, so, like, those all have to stay. See, this is the problem with this deck, right? Is it's trying to be an instant sorcery deck that wants to deal combat. 
So like, that also it's needs kind creatures of, for right. the prowess. It's it's kind of sucks when deck building because you want to play a lot of instant sorceries and just like nut. But like, mm -hmm. then it also needs ways to get through because if you're just playing this, you're not going to win a game with this. You know, like you need other yeah. things going on. Like you need to play these, or else you're not going to be able to get through well. Uh, and I think we need to keep this. Uh, for tokens that we make on the same turn, having at least one every... Also, any of the enchantments are non-creature spells, so it's like the same thing as running these, which is fine. Uh, I guess... <sighs> no, we have to keep Rift. Rift is like a free attack. That yeah, has that, to stay. That... We like end of turn that, and then we just get a free attack. Maybe it's turnabout as good as like it is. It's just yeah, not doing I, anything other than being, like at least frantic search draws like it can yeah, itself. True. Like I love turnabout, but like it's hard to make this deck. Like I, f I feel like you have to like choose a direction with this deck. And like we're kind of trying to do like we, we kind of chose like a prowess non creature spell like trying to attack. And there's like a billion ways we could have made this deck like. Uh, but we have made a lot of, like, Boros attacking decks recently, so I do like switching it up a little bit and doing something like this, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely unique. It feels like a Shu Yun deck, but it can kill people easier. Because you also get to play this. Uh, okay, how many more do we need to cut? We need to cut six spells. Uh, I don't think I want to cut any more mana rocks. That's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we count Stormkiln as one, that's like nine. So, th I mean, it's got to stay like that. Uh... I guess we can cut a counter spell. Because uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. No, I kind of want five. Did I miscount? One. No, it's five. Two, three, four, five. Yes. No, I want those. Uh. And I like these, too. Like, we're trying to attack. We want one man to remove a creature. It just makes sense. Mm hmm Like, that's very efficient, you know? And I like both of those. Those are really good. This card seems insane. Ugh. This sucks. Honestly. Because I don't want to cut Passive Flame either. And Treasure Cruise and Dig seem like the only, like, efficient spells that actually plus us instead of just cantripping, you know? Yeah, outside of, like, enchantments. That and we're going to play it. a ton of cantrips, so, like, that's going to work so well with that. And I don't want to mm -hmm. cut another extra combat because we're down to three. Okay. I'm going to say expressive iteration for the same reason with Abbott. Okay. It, might, it might hit bigger things or like three lands. It's not like a guaranteed. It's a broken card and we like playing it in our storm decks, but like it is not for this particular deck. Uh, Jessica's will is different. I also kind of feel bad cutting the mana geyser now, but how many red spells are we left with? Because it looks like we cut a lot. 32 pips. 55. It, that is it is kind of close, but... And it will help us cast these as well. I don't know, man. This is tough. We get to cut five more cards. Jesus Christmas. All right, I'm cutting Thaw Vessel. You savage man. You wild. You out of control human being. I, listen, this isn't, <laughs> a, this isn't a deck that's trying to, like, it's not. Yeah, I know, it's, I know. It's, this is not built for card advantage. It's cantripping. Oh. There's some things that are like a pseudo card advantage engine, like with the Archmage being in the deck. Uh, but other than that, like, I mean, we have Elsha. Like, whatever. We have our Reliquary Tower. If it happens, it happens. So we still need to cut four cards. 
Gosh well, dang it. Maybe maybe it actually kind of is fist to fly. No, but even just for one minute, yeah, no. No, this is not getting cut. Uh, also, Valakut kind of seems crazy with Fist of Flames, you know? Because it counts everything you draw, so if you reshuffle... Because mm -hmm. this just cares about every card you've drawn that turn. So, at yeah. worst, Derek, this is always plus two, plus zero, oh, and trample. Because you draw yeah. for turn and draw off the card. So, for two mana at instant, that's efficient. Because you can attack and bait them. It's an instant. Like, that's really strong. I've definitely died to this card... In Zada. Yeah, but Zada kind of storms off with, with right. that card. You're right, but even at worst, it's plus two, plus zero, and trample. And trample is something we don't have. There's not a. I don't think there's a single thing in this deck that ha has trample. We have two things that give us unblock, three things if we account the one time Akroma's will. And then Iroas kind of helps with that. Maybe it is just Iroas. Maybe it's just Iroas. I guess. I, don't know, I do really like him, but I guess I don't maybe know. it's better to cut one of these and just keep him, and like maybe he'll get animated. I mean, it feels kind of like not because we're running the least. Like all of the red stuff that we're running is instant and sorceries, and he's never going to get animated. He's just there for his effect. It would be better to just run the artifact in, at that point, right? But then that artifact doesn't give your creatures menace. So maybe he's just the cut. I don't yeah. like that. I don't like that, though. It's just it's not true unblockable. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are yeah. true unblockable. So, like, maybe he just... He's there for now. Uh... Also, getting him into a be a creature is a little tricky, too. That's what I said. It's almost impossible. Like, we can count. We have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one total red and white pips. Mm-hmm. And that's not a lot. That's not that's a lot. Not a lot. That's, that's spread over twenty cards, which yeah. means we'll probably only see like that's a ninety card deck. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, in a ninety card deck, like you're gonna see it. Yeah, exactly. Uh Yeah, no more mana rocks. Okay, we gotta cut three cards. Let's look at our instance. Uh... Alright, do we care about... I know we still care about Path and Yeah, swords. I just feel like they're so bad. Dealing with a, a problem creature, and there's a lot of, like... These are just so efficient, and this is, like, per, it's, like, perfect for this deck. I really like Arrhenius Vile Duplication too. If we make a copy of our commander, that's fucking insane, and it gets flying. That's double double prowess. Like it's it's that's really good. This is so tough. This is probably one of the longest decks that we've ever built. An hour and thirty minutes. Yes, it's definitely up there. Uh. It's just hard because there's just too many cards to play. Fuck me in my ass. All right, get over here. <laughs> slurp, slurp. At least it'll make this go away. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're only playing three extra combats now, so I don't want to cut those. And technically we're playing four because solve the equation like kind of counts. Uh, 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 do we really care about past and flames? Like, do we, I guess not. do we feel like with the mana ramp that we're no. playing, are we going to be able to like go four and do anything relevant with that? 
No, we're going to play like two spells at most. Okay, so we get to cut two more cards. Thinking it's this guy. All right. Now sprite, one more, sprite cut one more land. You know, I'm honestly thinking about it because this could be a 34 land deck. We still have mana rocks, and like I said, our curve is so low. Let's let's try it and see how much we hate ourselves. All right. Well, I already do that, so it's not hard. <laughs> this took an hour and 31 minutes. Okay, 